Why would anyone pay thousands of pounds to stop themselves into one of these things for hours on end? With people climbing over you to go to the toilet? Not to mention the effort required to eat a meal in such a cramped condition. Well, I suppose he could get you to sit there. And cross off a few of the items on your bucket list. Or pop over to the beach at Manly. Take a few lessons on surfing. Or just enjoy walking in the countryside. Whilst in the Sydney area, you could take a day trip to the Blue Mountains. But keep away from the edge, it's a long way down. Now we need to cross the gorge, then take a second cable car down to the valley bottom. Everything you can see in front of us nowadays, this is part of the World Heritage Listed Blue Mountain National Park. This, everything in between it, this is the Jamison Valley. Everything else is the Great Blue Mountain Park, as I said before. Now, the whole park is roughly 10 million years ago this way. Prior to that... The walks are rather special. You are strapped in for the almost vertical high speed return. day is completed by a sail back down into the harbour and a firework display. On our bucket list was a trip down to Melbourne <laughs> to visit with Ron and Merle Fry, with whom we enjoyed a most enjoyable day out. which finished off with our first sighting of the Puffing Billy. Ride on the old wooden Melbourne mountain. That's another one of those. If you're tired of Melbourne, you could hire a car. Travel along the great ocean. It's better not to drive on country roads at dusk. And try not to miss the waterfalls.
If you decided to travel north, you would then enter the cereal growing part of the country. And the storage. And see the transportation system that takes the grain down to the port. These boys don't take half a load. A cameraman has many needs. If it is your wish to travel further north, you will probably have to cross the River Murray. It is 1,558 miles long, 250 miles of which are in South Australia. The point which we are making the crossing. One of the great train journeys of the world is a trip on the Gan, which goes from Adelaide to Darwin. It passes through Port Augusta. And we wanted a shot of it as it did so. If you visit Adelaide, the city of churches, one on every corner, try to be there for the second Saturday in November when they hold the Christmas pageant. A spectacular event. On the bucket list was a trip on the Gan from Adelaide to Alice Springs. 950 mile journey to take us 16 hours. The Alice Springs to Uluru, or Red Rock, will take us a further 300 miles. A wish fulfilled, Uluru, or Red Rock. There are many lovely walks in Australia. These are a few of them. Sunrise at Ayers Rock made it all worthwhile. Now it all comes back. Why? Why do all this? But then, unusual experiences, people we've met, places you've always wanted to see, all come rushing over to help you. Collect your bags, check the passport, Carry the cases, then up and away. <laughs>